a really important thing before starting a big event like the Pikes Peak Apex is to check your tire sealant and then also make sure your rim strip is in good shape. This will go a long way in helping you prevent on-course flats. It's really easy to do, so let's show you how we do it. So there's a couple ways you can check your tire sealant. Uh, the easiest is to use a dipstick. A uh, dipstick could be either like an actual commercially available one or even just a small zip tie that fits down through the valve. Another way to do it is to pop off side of the tire and visually see how much sealant is left inside there. The first thing you wanna do if you're using the dipstick to check your tire sealant is to remove the valve core with the valve core tool. After you remove the valve core, you want to set the valve at the bottom of the tire and then take your dipstick or zip tie and just put it down inside the tire. And then when you pull it out, you check to see how much sealant is on there. So this is just about a millimeter deep, which is probably not as much sealant as you would want. Um, so you can either squeeze more sealant inside through the valve, or you can pull off the side of the tire and put the sealant in that way. So after you check the sealant and top it off, you want to just reinstall your valve core and inflate your tire to your desired riding pressure. Next, we'll show you how we pull off the tire and take a look at your rim strip and also check the sealant level that way. To remove your tire, you want to break the tire bead off the rim. It's generally locked down there fairly tight to help eliminate burping when you're cornering really aggressively. Um, easiest way to do that is just grab the tire and pull it towards you. So then go all the way around the wheel, breaking the tire bead, and then we'll take our tire lever and pry it all the way off the rim. So you take your tire lever, put it under the bead, and then pry and pull it towards you. And then you can see how much sealant is in there. And then once you get your tire off, you can visually inspect how much sealant you have. Ideally, from this point, you will also remove the tire completely and make sure your rim strip is in good condition. So once you get your tire removed, you want to inspect your rim tape. You want to look for edges peeling up on the tape. You don't want to see any cracking on the tape. You don't want to see any holes starting to form. Um, and it's just nice, even texture all the way around the rim. Uh, anytime you see little things starting to happen on the tape, that could be sign that something's going to go wrong as you get some more time on the bike. So once you've inspected everything and made sure your tape is in good condition, you want to go ahead and remount your tire, add your sealant. It varies depending on tire size, but generally three to four ounces works well for most riders. And then reinflate to your preferred riding pressure. From there, you should be in good shape for quite a while.